From Studio 41 in Grand Central Station, New York City, The Morning Show with Jack Parr. Charles Collingwood and the News. Good morning. Good morning, my friend. <laughs> this is The Morning Show, which runs from 7 until 9, uh, wherever you live, whether it be Eastern or Central Time. And everyone's here this morning. The Baird Marionettes, Bill and Cora with their amazing marionettes. And there's Poopy Campo and Jose Melis and lovely Betty Clooney. And of course, as always, the very latest CBS News done by our good friend, Charles Collingwood. International affairs are crowding in on the world's leaders this morning. More trouble about the rearmament of Germany. Washington is gloomy this morning about the acceptability of France's new proposals. And... In the Far East, there's just as much trouble as ever. Here's a late story which has just come in from London. An explosion in the British House of Commons injured five persons. It wasn't Puerto Ricans or anything like that. It was uh, a fire in the same cellars of Parliament where Guy Fawkes tried to blow up King James I more than 300 years ago. None of the persons have been injured severely. That's the news so far. Here's Jack Farr. You folks will all excuse me for, for just a moment, won't you, while I talk to some special friends of mine. Good morning, all you crane dealers, and Mrs. Crane Dealer, too. I hope you're enjoying your breakfast and getting enough coffee. If you're not, you just call me up and I'll send a waiter. Your host today is one of our sponsors, the Crane Company. They're serving breakfast to more than 8,000 crane dealers all over the country this morning in over 100 cities. TV breakfasts. So you dealers can watch the show. It's Crane's 100th anniversary year, you know, and our show today begins Crane's second year of sponsorship. Of course, our show isn't all you're going to see this morning. When we get through, that's only the beginning of your meeting. You're going to hear about all the big improvements in the Crane Sunny Day Boiler, how it now comes packaged, and about the Crane Radiant Baseboard. But uh, I don't want to steal the thunder from your meetings. Just let me say I'm as pleased and proud to be working for Crane as you are to be handling their products. So, uh... Hey, waiter. Bring the Crane folks some more coffee. It's, uh, it's six minutes past eight Eastern time, past seven Central time. Where's Poopy Campo? Is he here? I want to ask you a question. Excuse me. Come here. Come here once already, yet. Uh, somebody wrote in, and they thought you were a little doll type, you know. And uh, they want to know, how tall are you? How tall am I? Yes. Uh, with or without clothes? <laughs> that makes... It, <laughs> it makes a difference, with or without clothes? Of course it makes a big difference, Jack. Well, uh, without clothes, how, how do you mean? Well, without clothes, I'm shorter. Show me what you mean. Well, without clothes, I usually stand like this. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> it's little things like that that brighten our whole day. <laughs> Say, if you want something that'll really brighten your day, and we hope it's a bright, lovely day outside, we'll see the daylight for the first time in just a moment. We have a camera shooting out Park Avenue, and I'll see the sun for the first time in about three weeks. I hope it's there. But without the sun, we have Sonny Betty Clooney to sing Penthouse Serenade. Are you ready, Betty? <laughs> Just picture a penthouse way up in the sky with hinges on chimneys, stars to go by, a sweet slice of heaven, just you and I. When we're alone From all of society We'll stay alone And live in propriety There on the roof To heavenly hermits We will be in truth We'll see life's mad pattern as we view old Manhattan. Then we can say our love. 
lucky star that will live as we are in our little pace always contrive to keep love and romance forever alive in view of the Hudson just over the drive when we We uh, are a small little concern, but we're growing. And we have some fine sponsors with us now. We hope to have more. I was reading the paper this morning. This is the business and financial section of the Herald Tribune. And it says, Monsanto advances on the stock market. And they've only been with us uh, three weeks. <laughs> I thought you'd be happy to know that. We, in the meantime, have been selling products that nobody else uh, has been able to sell or cared much about. As you know, some weeks ago we sold water. W-A-T-E-R, we sold it and it caught on. Everybody's using it. And uh, <laughs> foolishly, we did not tie up the rights and we're getting nothing from it. So today, to show you our sincerity and uh, the way we could sell a product, we're going to sell this morning this. Now this, this is not, this is not balloons we're selling. We are going to sell what goes into a balloon? Air. Oh, sharp, every time you wake. Feel sharp, happy on the fall. Be sharp, give your lungs a break. Take the quickest, quickest breath of all. Air. Mm. <laughs> Friends, are you suffering from air deficiency? Thousands of people suffering from NB, no breath, would be alive today <laughs> if they had continued using air, A-I-R. For you see, air is mild. Make this simple test. Take a puff of your present cigar. Now slowly let it trickle through your handkerchief. strong, isn't it? <laughs> now take an ordinary straw and take a puff of air. Now here's the one with the tobacco and the uh, cigar, you see. <laughs> <laughs> and this with air, of course, is perfect. There you have proof positive of air. <laughs> air contains no harmful ingredients, no artificial flavoring, no harsh abrasives, nor chicken fat. <laughs> air has many uses for blowing up balloons, flying kites, and is used in the center of donuts. It, <laughs> it even lifts girls' dresses. This is known as fresh air. <laughs> air is recommended by millions of satisfied pigeons. And if it's for the birds, it's for you. <laughs> Air can help you diet. Listen to what the noted TV panelist, Arlene Furness, has to say. Take this 10-day diet. Stop eating what you've been eating. Instead, every morning when you get up, take three gulps of air for breakfast. For lunch, take three more gulps of air. Then swell up for dinner. Before going to bed, exhale. Air is no cow. <laughs> She's, she, that girl's so right. And here's what Poopy Campo, noted orchestra leader, says. I've been using that for 28 years. It's real cool, man. <laughs> Jose Mellis, pianist and candelabra player, says. Poopy is full of hot air. There you have it, friend. <laughs> there you have it. He had nothing, that boy, but there you have it. Remember, we're airmen, not medical men. 
Air is used by bubble dancers. Air is healthy. It brought Sally Rand back on her feet. <laughs> so don't sit there holding your nose. Inhale. Send for our free sample. Air is free. There's just a slight charge of $48 to cover the cost of our profit. Thank you. <laughs> Remember our campaign, be loyal to people. <laughs> Stick with your own kind. Animals will inherit the earth. Be loyal to people. Watch the CBS Morning Show. And one of the best reasons to watch it is the great piano artistry of Jose Mellis, a buddy of mine from the Army, been with me for about 10 years, one of the great pianists in our country today. Listen to this arrangement, please, of Lover. Thank you. 